This video is sponsored by Ace Magician. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we will be looking at an awesome mini PC with a unique design and features, impressive specs, and good performance. This is the AMR5 by Ace Magicians. Now, this is a multifunctional PC. It's designed for everything. It's designed for personal use or work, as well as some mid-range gaming with customizable levels of performance. So let's dive in, unbox it, and go over the specs and details all right so let's do a quick unboxing so this box just slides out of that box and then you open this up you have a nice little presentation we have this sheet over here with some information on it regarding the pc you can see that we have dual channel memory it's expandable uh storage and ram we'll look at that in a second but you can put this aside for a second lift this up and inside you're going to find that mini pc so let's pull this out okay very interesting looking device and it does have a lot of rgb lighting we're going to look at the details in a second let me put this here okay and then over here we have the some uh, user guides and over here we have the power cable okay this is just the power adapter so they work together and then what we have is we have a little let's see uh, HDMI cable to get you started so you can connect this to a monitor so that's great that they include this normally these things cost 20 bucks or something you get free with this uh, mini PC let's dive into the details so here's a list of all the core specs we have an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 U processor which has a maximum clock speed of 4.2 gigahertz we have 16 gigabytes of installed ram which is upgradable and then we have 512 gigabytes of installed solid state storage which is also upgradable if you need more storage i'll show you that as well and then we have windows 11 pro with the latest connectivity of wi-fi 6 and bluetooth 5.2 now let's move on and look at the ports all right, so let's quickly take a look at all the available ports and the buttons on this product. So on the top, you can see we have the power button. Okay, this power button is also rotatable. So you press to turn it on, and then you rotate the performance mode that you want to pick. You get the silent, you get the auto, and you get the performance, and that's for maximum productivity and some gaming. And then over here, you have some RGB lighting. And as far as ports are concerned, we have a lot of good ports here. We do have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. We have two USB 3 ports on the front and a USB type C as you can see. So that's great. And then on the side, we have some more lighting. And then if you look in the rear, at the bottom, we have the power plugged in. Over here, we have an RJ45 networking interface. We have an HDMI out and a display port out. We also have two more USB 3.0 interfaces. So here's just one more look at all the ports on the rear as you can see. And then on the other side, we also have some more RGB lighting over here. Very nice and cool looking design overall for a mini PC. Now, another fantastic feature of this mini PC is it is upgradable. So over here, we can actually remove this just like this, very easy. When you remove it, you can see inside we have the lights over here that give it the effect. But right over here, we have the DDR memory. We have a dual channel memory, as you can see. You can go up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. You can just remove these guys, they'll pop out, and you can insert more based on your needs. And when you look at the top, you see that we have two M2 slots, so you can add additional storage if necessary. So here's an M2 solid state drive right here. You can add one more on the top to expand your storage, and that's the extent of upgradability on this mini PC. Let's move on and see it in action. All right, so we have the whole thing set up right here. As you can see, uh, the computer is in fact attached to this monitor, and the keyboard and mouse are wirelessly connected to the uh, ace magician computer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you real quick what this dial actually does because it do, it's not a gimmick it actually does serve a function so over here on my computer i'm going to be using two sets of software uh the first one is cpu z you guys probably know what this is so this basically shows you some details about your computer now the other one is the core temp application now this processor has six cores you can see all of them listed here, and you can see the corresponding clock speed. 
Now using CPU Z, what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the bench and I'm going to do a stress CPU test. That's going to push the CPU to its limits. So I'm going to click that right now. I'm going to tap on stress CPU. And you can see right over here, the load on each of the cores is at 100%. Now the dial is sitting in the silent mode. And you can see the maximum clock speed is 2,700, 2,600. Now if I were to pull this dial to the performance mode, what you are going to see is you're going to see these numbers jump up, okay? And that's what this dial does. It gives you more performance on demand, or you can just put an auto, which is the middle, and that's going to pick everything automatically. But I'm just going to show you the difference between the silent mode, and then if I dial this to performance, you can see it is not a gimmick. These numbers do jump up. And slowly, it's going to go all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz because that's the maximum clock speed but it takes a while for this whole thing uh, for the benchmark software to push it to the limit but you saw the difference now it's at 3500 hertz per clock and then again if i come back here and put this back on the regular silent mode the numbers drop all the way down to 2700 2600 so that's what you want to use this dial for if you are doing some work if you are gaming you want to put it to performance like this okay you see the color changes to red and when you're doing anything else you can go to silent for small simple tasks or you can just keep it in auto which is going to automatically select the necessary power output all right so now we can stop the benchmark and let's take a look at how it performs with a popular game so here i'm playing witcher 3 that's a very demanding game and I did put these settings uh, for the resolution on 1280 by 720. And I put the graphical settings to low. And of course, this game is such a good looking game. Uh, even on low settings, it looks amazing. And I'm impressed that it is in fact playable. So I'm running around at a consistent frame rate here. Again, these are low settings. But you can see, I can easily play this game from start to finish if you don't want the highest possible settings, okay? So if it can handle this game at these settings, it can handle many other games. Uh, in fact, it can play Far Cry 4 at a higher resolution with higher settings uh, with much better quality, okay? Now, obviously, this is not gonna be a dedicated gaming PC if you wanna play at maximum resolution and maximum quality, but if I can play a game as advanced as Witcher 3, on this PC, it does tell you that it is a well-performing PC. Now in this example, what I'm doing is I'm actually using Adobe Premiere Pro 2023. And what I have here is I have a bunch of 4K files. Okay, so I just wanna make sure that I could run 4K files on this if I had to quickly edit a video. Now this is probably too much to do for most people, but the fact that you can do it uh, shows me that this computer, this mini PC is quite capable. So again, I can play this and you can see the play is very smooth. Okay, so that's a 4K file right here and it's playing perfectly fine. And if I pause it or stop it and if I change the frames, I can see the preview as you can see pretty easily. I can just go to my razor, razor tool right here and just cut, go back here remove no problem i can easily edit a video uh, on this and most people don't even do 4k they they do 1080p but the fact that 4k runs so smooth on this computer tells me that it is quite a capable little computer obviously again if you are a professional it's not going to be what you need but for most people this is more than enough all right so we have gone over a lot of things and the conclusion is that this is a great mini pc it's perfect for personal and work use it can handle video and photo editing if desired even when working with 4k video files and it is able to play graphically demanding games at lower resolutions obviously this is not a dedicated gaming pc but occasional gaming at lower resolutions are handled easily it also has a unique design with 
great lighting and a dial to customize performance, RAM and storage can easily be upgraded. For the price, you're getting a great product. It is also important to mention that it comes in a very small package, so it is easy to put anywhere and despite being small, it provides a really cool look due to its design and RGB lighting. So links to buy this product are gonna be down below. Questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below as well.